to A Web of Stories. I'm Melinda and today I am talking about what I am reading right now. So this is sort of my weekly update on what's going on in my reading life. So um, a lot of these books I talked about in previous weeks because they're carrying forward, but that's fine. I knew November was going to be a little bit of a different reading month because it's nonfiction November and sometimes it takes longer to get through nonfiction books than fiction books. But also it's November, which means we have Thanksgiving coming up and things have been kind of busy for us. So that's life and sometimes you just have to go with it. I didn't get as much reading time as I would have liked this week, which is too bad because reading is a self-care for me. And so I realized I really kind of need to prioritize that a little more. Anyway, here's what I have going on. First, I am still reading Agatha Christie, An Elusive Woman by Lucy Worsley, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I've gotten to the point now where she's just about to meet her second husband. I really like the writing style in this. This is a historical instead of a literary biography. Lucy Worsley is very clear about that. But she also, if you know Lucy Worsley, she has a lot of television shows. Her thing is talking to people who may not be experts in the subject, and that comes across in here. So this is a very readable book. And it's very interesting. I'm quite enjoying it. Um, if you are not sure about biographies or nonfiction's not your thing, but you like Agatha Christie, this would be a good choice, probably better than other biographies or even Agatha Christie's own autobiography. Um, Lucy Worsley has definitely done her research on it. I'm really enjoying this. Um, I do think that I'll finish it within the next couple days. So hopefully there will be a review of it forthcoming and I will have a new book for you next week. So the next one I have is Six Against the Yard by The Detection Club, which at the time this was written, I actually wrote the authors down this time. It was Dorothy L. Sayers, Marjorie Allingham, Ronald Knox, Anthony Berkeley, Freeman Wills Croft, Russell Thorndike, and then there's an essay by Agatha Christie in it. Um, I had not read anything by these authors. In fact, I had only heard of Dorothy L. Sayers and Marjorie Allingham. So I'm really enjoying this introduction to these authors and I've really enjoyed the stories. The point of this book is each of these authors writes a short story featuring what they consider to be the perfect murder or the unsolvable murder. It's not unsolvable for the reader because we know who did it. Um, that's kind of what I didn't understand going into it, but I, I picked up on that. Because what it is, is after each story, there is a retired member from Scotland Yard who decides whether or not it was unsolvable or not and why or not, why or why not. And that's very interesting for, to watch him pick apart each of the stories and say, well, the police would have done this or this, or you overlooked this. Um, I am on the last story now, so I still have to finish that story, read what uh, the Scotland Yard detective says about it, and then read the, the um, essay by Agatha Christie, and then I'll be done with that. But I have really enjoyed reading these stories and getting to know these authors. Um, they're all great stories. One of them is probably the most disgusting story I've read. I will say it involves insects. That's all, but it was still a good mystery. Um, and that one particularly, I liked seeing how the, the Scotland Yard detective kind of kind of pulled it apart because it was very interesting. But I am definitely enjoying this and I am going to be reading more from, from this collection of the Detection Club. There are three books like this. Um, one is a novel where they each write a chapter and then one is, I believe, it's short stories with their well-known detectives, but they write someone else's detective, for example, Someone else would write, let's say, maybe Dorothy L. Sayers would write an Hercule Perrault story and maybe Agatha Christie would write a Lord Peter Whimsey story. I don't know. So I'm looking forward to that one too. The Detection Club actually still exists. It has, um, it was started by G.K. Chesterton, who was the author of the Father Brown books. My daughter's eyes just lit up because she loves Father Brown. <laughs> um, but it has continued on. Um, it is still in existence, obviously different writers now, and there are some later books with the different groups of writers that I, I also have added to my TBR. Um, I'm actually expecting to be finishing that one today. And as I put this video on my blog post of my weekly reads, I'm going to, after I finish going through what I'm currently reading, I'm gonna tell you about the next two books I'm gonna read to kind of make up for this one. So after that, I have Sitting Pretty by Rebecca Tosig, which I am listening to. Um, this is about Rebecca Tosik is a disabilities advocate. She does use a wheelchair. I am enjoying this. However, it has kind of fallen victim to the Novembers of this week. So I'm, I'm only getting a chance to listen to it a couple days a week. It might take me most of this month to get through just because it's November. 
<laughs> so, but I'm enjoying it and I'm looking forward to discussing it at the beginning of December with my book club. Um, I, it's giving me new things to think about, which I, I always enjoy that. So I'm looking forward to finishing it. And then I have Madly Deeply, The Diaries of Alan Rickman. I, yes, I'm still on this. I had planned to read it every day in November, so I'd finish it on November 30th. But I think I may have missed a couple days, so I might not finish it until early December, which is fine. I'm not going to sweat that. Um, the, he has just finished filming the first Harry Potter movie. He's uh, He's gone through Galaxy Quest. It's very interesting. He, You know, you get a little bit of current events in it, like he talks about the death of Princess Diana. We've passed that point. So again, really enjoyable, but obviously not a book I can just sit down and read. So trying to do 15 pages a day, most days. And then finally, I am still on The Count of Monte Cristo and I have a couple more weeks of that. I am uh, really enjoying it. I don't know what else to say about it. I think this was a really good choice to do a year long read of. So I'm glad I did that. And I'd like to thank my bookish best friends for sort of pushing me on it. She is supposedly also doing this, but I don't know if she's still on schedule. She's coming over for Thanksgiving, so I'll check with her and see if she's still on schedule about it. But once I finally finish it, you know, I'll do up a little review and give you my thoughts on it. Right now, I can tell you I like it better than Middle March, which was the last big honkin' classic that I read. So that's what I'm currently reading. And now, as I said, I'm expecting to finish Six Against the Yard today, which is Saturday. So that book right now is sort of my my e-reader book and my short story book. So once I finish that, I'm gonna start two new books. Um, the first one will be Our Missing Hearts by Celeste Ng. And I chose to start this one next because the Goodreads Awards came out this week or the nominees for the awards. And for best novel, um, I had only read one of the nominees and it was True Biz, which I have talked about in another post to what I thought about True Biz, which was I didn't think it plot wise, I had some issues with it and I didn't wanna vote for it. But I have, I had Our Missing Hearts on my Kobo and it was nominated. So I decided I'm gonna vote for this and then I'm gonna read it. And it's gonna give me time in case I need to change my vote. I can change my vote. But as for right now, I have voted for Our Missing Hearts for best novel. Um, I've liked Celeste, well, I've only read Little Fires Everywhere, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it much more than the adaptation of it, which I have a lot of issues with. But I have, I've heard really good things about Our Missing Hearts. So I'm looking forward to that. And then, for my short story collection, I'm going to start this next Agatha Christie collection, which is Midwinter Murder. So it's it's short stories that take place during winter. Um, I'm going to be reading most of the stories. If you can see my tabs here, I'm skipping some stories only because they are Perot or Marple stories, which I have previously and recently read. So I don't feel a need to reread those at this point. I really enjoyed The Last Seance. This is sort of the same setup as The Last Seance, so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting this one started. So that will be my short story collection once I finish Six Against the Yard. So that's my reading for this week. Um, let me know what you're reading, and uh, if you have any great book recommendations, I'm always game. In the meantime, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.